it's Reagan and today I'm pre-filming some videos because I'm getting surgery if you didn't know already but I don't know when this is going up so I thought it'd be but it would behoove me to pre-film so you might be seeing a lot of the same outfit so sorry if that bothers you just kidding if it bothers you okay so today I thought it'd be fun to do a Reagan recommends video because I haven't done one of those in a while so I'm doing Reagan recommends contemporary and as many of you might or might not know, I don't read a lot of contemporary, but that doesn't mean I haven't read some that I've really, really, really loved and have really, really affected me and I want to share with you. Most of these I've read in the past year because like I said, I don't read a lot of contemporary and I have been reading more lately as more people have been opening my eyes to the genre. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first book is actually, I think the first book I ever reviewed on booktube, but that review is gone as I don't know if actually many people know this, but I had to make a new channel a long time ago. And that book is, it's kind of a funny story by Ned Fizzini. This book is wonderful. It's a wonderful mix of funny and really sad. It follows a young boy who goes to a really prestigious high school and he's really, really stressed out about being successful and getting there in life and like not being homeless. And the stress um, really affects him and makes him become very depressed, so depressed he can't keep food down and things like that. And then one night, at the very beginning of the novel, he goes to commit suicide, but he stops himself. And then he um, checks himself into a mental hospital. And it's just about his growth there and then him meeting people and then him like figuring out about himself. And I just really love this story because I think it approached a very serious topic with humor, which I think is, is important because as humans, as people, we all go through tough times and a way of making ourselves feel better is through humor. So I just I just really enjoyed this book. I found it very relatable as someone who has felt stressed through school and things like that. So I really, really enjoyed this book. The next book is truly a series and that is The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. I have raved about this quite a bit recently on my channel. I've done a whole series review on this. Series follows a young girl named Belly and for as long as she can remember she's gone to a beach house in Cousins? Am I making that another beach? Anyway, um, and she's always has stayed with her family and as well as with her mom's best friend and her family. And she's, as long as she can remember, has been in love with this boy named Conrad. And as the first book states, the first book is the summer she turned pretty and the boys start to notice her. This book is a lot more, this whole series is a lot more than what you might expect. It's a lot about family, growth, mourning, growing up, understanding what you want in life. I was very, very, very impressed with this series and I really, really loved it. And I really recommend this to read. Anytime, doesn't even have to be summertime. Just read it. The next book is another one that I read pretty recently and freaking loved, but I just want to reiterate how much I loved it. And that is Aristotle and Dante Discovered the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alry Sines. This follows a beautiful friendship uh, between two boys in the 1970s or the 1980s in Texas. And it's just a fantastic story about two young men growing up and it's all in about them and their family and then they're just like realizing and communicating. It's so beautiful. I really don't want to say too much because there's really not much. To, it's just it's just about two boys and the two boys' families and like the boys growing up and then the families like learning from each other. It's beautiful and it's so great because it's one of those books. Um, and this is one reason why I love contemporary, but it's one of those books that you love the families too. Like the families are great. And in young adults, especially like fantasy, dystopian, the families are either absent or horrible. And this is a, this is a situation where no, the families are awesome and supportive and lovely. And I just like reading about that because I love my family because I feel they are those things. So it's really nice to read about wonderful families who are going through tough times and like learning and just oh so fantastic i loved this so much next book is where things come back by john corley whaley i'm sure a lot of you have heard quite a bit about this as it is just one of jesse's favorite books but this is super interesting and the tricky thing is i don't want to tell you anything about it it's super short it's extremely interesting and i freaking loved it what I can tell you, it's about this boy named Colin. Yeah, it's his senior year of high school and he's about to have one of the most bizarre summers of his life. And it's really cool. I, it surprised me a lot when I read this, so I highly recommend this as well. And the last book I have to recommend, and this was tricky to pick from her books because I consider her the queen of contemporary along with Jenny Han. And that's Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Truly, any 
Rainbow Rowell book you can read. I've only read two of hers. I've read Attachments and Fangirl. I haven't read Eleanor Park or Landline yet. However, I plan to very soon when I'm in the mood for the contemporaries. This book is wonderful. I'm sure I know you've all been beaten to death by this book, but take it from someone who doesn't read a lot of contemporary and just understand that this is such a fantastic book to read because it's just full of such wonderfully relatable characters that do sort of realistic things and it's just refreshing, you know? It's not full of weird angsty relationships and abs and things that just don't really make sense and are not really applicable to everyone's lives. No. This follows a young, awkwardly, socially awkward girl who loves to live on the internet and geek out about books and um, and geek out about a Harry Potter-esque thing in her world and how she's trying to deal with her freshman year of college. I read this in my freshman year of college and I just loved it. I found it to be just, just nice and sort of cathartic. I don't know. I just, I really loved this book. Read it. It's so great. So there you go guys. Those are five contemporary books I recommend and I'm trying to decide, um, which genre to do next for this. I'm thinking about rounding it out and doing another fantasy one as <laughs> that's the genre I have the most to recommend for. So anyway, I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!